Good morning, everybody. Well, welcome, welcome to Wellness Wednesday. I'm Dr. Jean-Paul Amante here bringing you another bedside kind of sleepy time edition. Uh, and this week it's all about probably one of my favorite healing devices I've ever discovered, which are journals. So how many of you out there journal? A lot of amazing uses you can certainly do with this very, very simple technique. So I've actually brought some of my old school journals. As you can see, uh, little ones to big ones, uh, kind of everything in between. So journaling, number one, uh, can help you remember your dreams. And so it's absolutely fascinating to me when I was studying the history. And most people are aware that our modern medical system kind of comes from the ancient Greeks, right? Like Hippocrates, uh, Galen, Ptolemy. Uh, but what most people aren't aware is that the symbol for medicine, right, the caduceus, the staff with the intertwined serpents, um, has many different references, but one of them uh, is referencing um, the snake goddess Ophidia, as most of their healing uh, centers were dedicated to sleep temples to this goddess Ophidia of the unconscious. And so many times uh, in this ancient Greek system, the patient would sleep for hours and the doctors would actually come by and ask the patients for their dreams and they would use the dreams and dream interpretation to guide the diagnosis, the treatment, as well as the prognosis. And so really we have this untapped sixth sense with our dream state. And so I've journaled many, many dreams over the years and it's given me wonderful insight. I personally do this regularly and I professionally recommend it. So here's the most simplest, effective way for to help you interpret your dreams. Uh, and so number one, write them down and look uh, essentially at what is the overall theme of the dream. And you can do this in three ways. Uh, number one, identify the scene and the environment of the dream that you're having, right? Uh, notice where it is, where it takes place. Um, and the next thing is then to look at any emotions, right? Because the dream state is very much an emotional, symbolic experience. So look at the landscape and the environment, look at all the emotions that were present. And then number three, look at the people and the symbols, um, but not necessarily as that person or that object, but what does that person mean to you? Or what does that symbol mean to you? And any significance there, um, and if you kind of fill in that blank, it's that part of yourself, right? And so if you're dreaming about someone who's very, very impulsive, or someone who's the most wise, knowledgeable, and grounded, it's usually referring to that part of yourself. Uh, now that there are a small percentage of dreams that there are literal, like that's exactly what they mean. But far and away, most of your dreams are gonna be symbolic. Uh, emotions that have come to the surface. And many times when I've been going through um, healing crisis or different challenges, uh, the dreams give wonderful insights to this. Uh, there's, so there's a technique I picked up many, many years ago, which is to drink a lot of water. So copious amounts of water before you go to sleep. This will tend to force you to wake up and have to go to the bathroom. Uh, now, assuming there's no other issues there, uh, this can actually uh, be a good little technique because your body typically uh, is not going to wet the bed. Most, most of us are able to wake up uh, naturally and then you know, have to go. So this can be a nice little way to kind of break up your sleep cycle and help to remember dreams. Uh, but I would highly recommend keeping a journal table side to record your dreams. And this is wonderful guidance for the healing process and intuition on what's going on under the surface. Uh, but more than that, uh, I recommend journaling for many, many reasons. Number one uh, from the Casey readings was writing down your ideals, uh, which is basically like your overall life's mission statement that you would give in this chapter of your life. It's so important to know where you're going. Um, as Casey would often say, it's great to want to be healthy and get better, but what are you going to be healthy for, right? How are you going to make the world a better place uh, with this newfound health and vitality uh, that you're searching for? Um, so it's very important to write down your ideals uh, and to literally write down and manifest your intentions. Write down your goals. Um, with the holidays upon us, I would highly recommend to write down what you're grateful for. Um, write down things that you love and appreciate about yourself. 
uh, write down affirmations. Because when we literally put pen to paper, it's a way to physically manifest, right, your thoughts, your intentions into the actual physical world. So it's a way to actually solidify uh, what's going on here in the mind. Um, and more importantly than that is you can have some really healing moments uh, by doing this. And one that I discovered is the gratitude letter. Uh, so with Thanksgiving upon us, you know, think about all the things that you're grateful for. Um, but why not use a moment to literally write a letter to somebody and do it out of the blue? In fact, this is my challenge to all of you. Um, is to think about a moment in your life when someone truly helped you out. Uh, this is maybe unexpected or something that you really needed help with or maybe just a loving friend or support. Um, I challenge you, write that person a letter um, and then, you know, when the time is right, read it to them. Now, you can read it through like Zoom or over the phone or whatnot or mail it to them. Um, but you see, the secret in the Edgar Casey readings was all about understanding the power of the mind and consciousness. And that the more that you give, right, the appreciation, the gratitude, uh, the more it comes back to you. And this is, in a sense, a type of karmic law. And so when you're journaling things um, and you're writing things down, it's going to be a wonderful way to put things out there that you also, in turn, would like to receive. Uh, it's a great way to write down your goals, your intentions, uh, little workout tips, write down your dreams. And again, if you want to interpret your dreams, the best way Dr. Monte knows is look at the scene, look at the emotions, and look at the people and the objects, um, not just as part of them, but as a part of yourself, right? Um, it's a reflection of yourself, and that can definitely help you out in the healing process. Uh, now, we have some of the absolute best books on dreams. Our CEO, Kevin Tedeschi, is world-renowned uh, dream expert. Uh, so come on down to the bookstore. We got a lot of great Black Friday sales coming in, uh, so you can find the bookstore online. But we are open, uh, certainly at the bookstore, at the health center. Um, and now is... There's never been a better time to become a member. We have all kinds of discounts on memberships where you can get free content uh, and better content, uh, which will help you teach about developing your abilities um, and really everything you can imagine under the sun with regards to body, mind, spirit. Um, so check all that stuff out. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful and safe holiday. Uh, come back uh, every morning here, Wednesday morning, for Wellness Wednesday Live with Dr. Jean Palamonte. And thank you. Thank you all so much for joining me. Thank you all for all the wonderful things that you do. Now let's go out there and make a world a better place just because you have lifted it. Have a wonderful day.